What is the area of the region in the first quadrant that is bounded by the line y is equal to 3 times x and the parabola y is equal to 2 times x squared? So what we can do first is set these curves equal to each other so that we have 3x is equal to 2x squared. And the obvious solution is that if we put in an x value of 0, that these are equal to each other. Though we can also divide each side by x if we assume it's non-zero for the second solution. So that we have 3 is equal to 2x, or that x is equal to 3 halves. So we know that these two curves intersect at an x value of 0 and 3 halves. And what we can do next is graph this so that we get a better idea of what we're trying to find. So if we look at the graph of this, we know that we're trying to find the area between these two curves. So we're looking for this area. And when you're finding the area between two curves, you can take the integral of this top curve from this point here to the point where they intersect, 3 halves and subtract the integral of the bottom curve on those same bounds. So in other words, what we're trying to find is the integral from 0 to 3 halves of the top function minus the bottom function. So 3x minus 2x squared. And we'll take this integral with respect to x. So now we can just evaluate this. And the integral of 3x, we just increase the exponent by 1, so it becomes a 2, and we divide by the new exponent, and we subtract the integral of minus 2x squared. So the exponent on x squared increases to become a 3, and we divide by that new exponent. And we have to evaluate this expression between the bounds of 0 and 3 halves. So we can plug in the top bound, 3 halves squared, we have 3 halves there, multiplied by 9 fourths, and we subtract 2 times 3 halves to the third power, all divided by 3, and we would subtract this expression evaluated at 0, but if you plug 0 in here, you'll just get 0. So we just have to simplify this, and this is equal to 3 times 9 is 27, and we can put the 4 in the bottom so that we have 8 minus 3 over 2 to the third power is simply 27 over 8. That's divided by 3. So 27 eighths minus 2 times 27 is 54. And we can put the 8 in the denominator so that we have over 24. Finding a common denominator of 24, we just multiply this 27 by 3, so that we have 81 minus 54. And 81 minus 54 is just 27 divided by 24. And this fraction simplifies to 9 eighths. So the area between these two curves in the first quadrant is 9 eighths.